Hello and welcome to Eurocharged Boston. Today we are talking about the 157 uh, water pump and this also applies to 278 uh, and the subject is the turbo cooling lines. Uh, this car came in with a uh, leak at the water pump, uh, the bearing of the main pulley failed and it was dripping right here and you can see actually traces of green uh, coolant and obviously there's puddling underneath the car. Uh, we confirmed the first thing we did when the car came in we confirmed that none of the turbo lines are leaking and they weren't uh, but then we uh, inserted the camera in this area and we can see clearly the dripping coming out of the the uh, uh, the bearing now this is not typical what you're gonna typically see when these cars are leaking and you hear about it a lot on the forums is the turbo cooling lines and these are these three lines right here one uh, let me zoom out two and three uh, this is the most uh, common one to fail it actually cracks right here and it starts uh, dripping slowly uh, this one is the second in line i'm sorry this one and it actually cracks right here you can see the old one broke into the old water pump and this is a brand new hose and the third one is right here sometimes it cracks here or here or here and all of these cause uh, drippage and if it's neglected not fixed immediately the thing splits open and starts gushing uh, coolant and before you know it you're out of coolant and the car overheats so this is not something that needs to be neglected now uh, while we're talking on the uh, about this a point to cover is a lot of people complain why are these made the way they are um, Truth be told, I'm not covering the right side turbo because as you know, this, this goes on the front of the engine and you have lines going to the turbo. These actually go get sandwiched like this and they go into the turbo. So right here where my hand is, is where the turbo sits. And you have the same setup on, on this side as well. You never see these leak because they're actually rubber uh, metal uh, pipes uh, just like these and then they are crimped into very thick rubber hoses. So this side is never problematic, this side is. Uh, the reason why these are made of plastic, number one is for weight saving, uh, and number two for clearance reasons. There's just no room, because keep in mind, there's this pulley, there's the, uh, the, uh, the pulley right here, and there's a thermostat coming in here. There's just no room to put in a rubber hose. And then you also, if I uh, show you how tight the area is from this angle, you see that it's really hard to have a flexible rubber hose be installed in here <coughs> and let it clear the area. The other issue is this assembly needs to be flexible because the turbo right here is bolted onto the block and obviously it, it gets hot. So it, it, it does move by a few millimeters, not, a, not by much when it gets hot. <coughs> But it is enough, if this is uh, a metal hose with no flex in it, it will shear it right off. So you have to have some flexibility in it. Plastic gives you the best of both worlds. So you cannot use rubber, you cannot use metal. This plastic is, is a happy middle ground. But obviously the problem with it is once you accumulate some miles and if you live in hot climate and the car goes from hot to cold often, uh, you know, after a few many cycles of hot to cold, this plastic gets very uh, brittle and it becomes really easy to, to crack. Anytime you're working in the area, you can touch these hoses and crack them open. So always, whenever you do anything with the thermostat, the water pump, anything of that nature, always have these hoses on hand. Um, like I said, don't worry about this side. It will never go bad because it's crimped and it's very strong. In fact, if you have a leak on this side, that means the year now is, uh, you're watching me in the future, it is the year 2040 and you're still driving this car, which is probably not a good idea, but anyway. Um, on this side, you do see it on lower mileage, you know, 50, 60, 70,000 miles, they start cracking on their own and uh, just because they get brittle and they crack. Um, what you're gonna have to replace, always do all three if you can, uh, because while you're working on this one and taking it out of the uh, this socket, you may crack it. These get really brittle, so you might as well, if you got this deep into the engine, 
and we removed all of the hoses on top to reach this, might as well do them at once because they're relatively cheap. Uh, this one is done by taking a hose clamp off of the end, uh, two bolts and one bolt right here. You take it out, it comes out. And then this one, you take another bolt off uh, and then there's this bolt that, that, that um, sandwiches both hoses on uh, to the block. There's a bracket right here that combines them together. And finally, there's one bolt, and this is the hardest to get to. Uh, this one goes straight into the turbo. And the reason why, it depends on the chassis. Some, some are harder than others uh, because the, uh, the uh, chassis edge, the uh, main rail of the chassis will be right where my hand is. So you have very little room to get to the bolt, but it's still doable. You just undo this one, pull these straight out of the turbo, and they're free. Uh, I will include the part number for these three hoses uh, in the description. However, always verify the compatibility with your VIN just in case if they are different length. I, I believe they are all the same, uh, but make sure before you spend the money and order. But I wanted to show you, give you a visual of what they are, where they go, and, uh, and, and what hoses to look for uh, because it gets very confusing when you look at them in EPC and, and images and whatnot. Uh, there's only three hoses that can can leak uh, and as you can see you have uh, each each side of the the uh, turbos has two lines uh, a feed line and a return line and these two lines actually uh, meet uh, into this uh, uh, this piece right here because the back of it right here is where the um, passenger side turbo uh, gets combined with this line that's all i have for you today Enjoy. Thank you.